heal. So it's like... I don't know, anyway, so if I buy that, I'm buying the game. If I'm buying the game digitally, I'm not buying the game. Right. You know, and I find that so stupid that basically I'm spending $60 and you're spending $60, but you actually get the game. Right. Like, doesn't that upset people? Here, my friend, my doesn't brother. that upset people? Because it upsets me. Time. Well, and what's weird is, so, by the way, another little no, good thing. Did you know that if sure you, you buy I've heard a, a feather is lying on top of Abul Nukud's head. You're just really interested in what this guy has to say. But so. I have a mission myself. We, I, I, it sounded like he said something different this time. So, Let's I was going to say to you, did you know that if I buy Mega Man Battle Network Legacy guys, Collection digital, yeah. that is tied to my account. Mm -hmm. If my account is deleted or removed or anything else or banned, did you know that my access to that game is gone? It yeah. will show up as a locked icon on my PlayStation. Yep. But if I bought the disc, or if you bought the disc, and your account was banned, you could just create a new account and still play the game. Yeah. Or you could like be like, hey, do you want to borrow this game? Here yeah. you go. And then I would borrow the game and I could play it. This yep. is another reason why they don't like physical. Yep. Because it's like, well, why, share the game. why would we let someone, let somebody else borrow something that we could charge them for? Like, you wouldn't... And their, their line of reasoning is, well, you wouldn't let someone borrow a movie ticket when you're done with it. Right. So, like, they don't want to let you borrow it. Right. Because to them, it's like, well, why, why should we? Like, that's less money for us. Yeah, and that's... And these, these are the stupid things that I feel like people don't understand. You know, we have this crowd of people. Can this lady, like, stop being a whore and get off us? You have this whole crowd of people that, by the way... I don't understand why they're, like, so angry about it. Like, for some reason, you have, like, the crowd of physical people that like physical media, and their whole thought is, like, well, yeah, you can like digital media, too, but I want my physical game. And they're, they're fine with both. And then you have the whole crowd of digital people, only that crowd, that basically they're the opposite. It's digital only is the best way to go. You're a complete cuck for liking physical, and I will kill you. <laughs> and it's like, it's to the point where it's just aggressive, it's unnecessary, and they get like randomly angry online about physical media. Like, I don't understand, because it's like, they, they're gonna buy their game digitally, right? So it's like, why are you angry? Like, you go online and you're mad. Like, you're like, how dare you buy this game physically? And you're like, actually upset about it. It's like, I don't get what the point is. Right. Like, why can't both exist? Why can't you buy your digital? Why can't I buy my physical? What's the problem? Like, if you buy your digital, I buy my physical, I'm not, like, angry. It's because, hey, I got I got it the way I wanted it. Right. There you go. I'm only angry if that's the only way to get it. Right. And you're making it so I can't buy it the way I want. Exactly. Like, yeah, even if they went to only physical, fine. Because we have that other option here. You mean like, only digital? Wait, I don't no, only physical. Oh. Like, back in the day, back in the PlayStation 1, if you wanted to buy a game, it was physical. I have to talk to this guy before it goes away. Wasn't that great? Just like in Alep, you remember? Here's something I found on one of the Merchant King's men. I think it's a map of where he has stationed his guards. I'm sure it will come in handy in your mission. Anytime you're in Damascus, come see me. You know my door is always open to you. Safety and peace, my friend. Why would he have that? <laughs> Here's a map of where I'm putting everyone else. You stand here. <laughs> So you're saying that things worked fine when it was physical well, only, then, but now that it's digital only, it's gotten worse, And right? that's what I'm saying, is because back, you know, 30 years ago, digital media didn't even exist. Right. So therefore, the only option was physical media, so we didn't know any better. But now that we have digital media, what I'm saying is, now we could also just have both. Yeah. And yet companies are trying to push away from one. Oh, I guess I can you can just go on the wrong and then run that way. Companies are trying to push away from physical media because do they don't make as much money off of it. So therefore, they're they're trying to like limit people and their their purchasing power of that, so they get more money by digital. Mm -hmm. And they've and they've literally, I don't know if the companies have done this or people themselves have done this. They've trained an entire population of people that is actually now angry about physical media. Mm -hmm. Like, it's to the point where it's, it's not even just like, I prefer this, it's to the point where they're mad. 
What is he going? They're mad that physical even exists. So you're talking about that one weird guy on our comments? That that guy is a one example of other examples I have seen. <laughs> who like was getting online. in fights with people who yes. preferred physical? Yes. He is one example of many other examples I have seen on Twitter. And he was trying Kodak. to talk about how people will run out of room or something. I don't even remember yeah. what he said. I didn't even respond, but... Yeah, he was like, yes. I don't he's, he's, and, and, he, and it wasn't even just like, well, I, I prefer, you know, digital or whatever. Because I don't have a ton of space. Right. It was, it, was, it was more just, I'm mad about it. Like, well, how dare you buy physical? What's wrong with you? Yeah. And it's like, okay, why are you mad? I, I don't know. I need to find a hiding spot. So this is my biggest problem with this game, is you do anything and you're in a chase. Yeah. And that's not fun. No. That's really annoying. And I've been giving this game a lot more credit than you and Jill have, I think. Yeah. Where, like, the two of you have had a lot more oh, uh, criticisms of it than me. <laughs> right. But that's my big criticism, is why is it that I take one step in the wrong direction and I'm in a chase for 30 minutes, and you can't really get away okay. unless you go to a hiding spot. Okay, well, yeah. So, like, if you were to just keep running along the roof, it's almost impossible to actually get away. Right. It's just you're expected to do the hiding spot. Yeah, Why? and also it's just hard to get into the hiding spots, too. Yeah, because they don't all work right. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I don't get it. Like here, there's okay. Here, let, let's just hope this is. Let's a let's have you just deal with problems. So, anyways, to go back to all the way to the original point, I find that stupid. The Assassin's Creed is moving this way. I guarantee it is going to move this way. And so far, with Infinity, I'm kind of like not into it at all. Um, but to go back to your point, even before that. You like the salads at uh, Red Lobster? Oh. No, even before that. Oh, sorry. To go back to the original point, the reason why you brought this whole conversation up in the first place, I find it dumb that they're moving away from the modern-day storyline in Assassin's Creed. I thought you were going back so far you would answer the question, why are you gay? Well, <laughs> that one. Not that far back, but... Um, you like checking a text there, like while you're battling. <laughs> you're like, what's got, going on here? <laughs> I got a random like email from Google. Okay. And I was like, what is this? Okay. Sorry. <laughs> so yeah, I don't. Well, why are these guys still manhandling? This <laughs> Get out of here. I find that kind of dumb though, because it's like, to me, that that should have been like a central core of Assassin's Creed. Like that's what Assassin's Creed's always been based on. It's a modern day story but you're going back in time. Like, that's part of the cool effects of Assassin's Creed. Watch Dogs really could have solved this. They could they have. willing to just tie it in instead of making a whole freaking fight. They could have. You know, and, and with Mirage, I'm fine with that existing because I already explained that. They basically have the modern-day story in Valhalla with him. But going forward, I find it kind of dumb and also kind of lazy. Right. Because, I mean, to be honest with you, I don't play Assassin's Creed, like, 2, for example. I'm not playing Assassin's Creed 2 to really, you know, hang out with Desmond. Okay. Like, it's it's not the core, you know, purpose of why I'm playing it. I'm playing it because I want to play as a guy in, in the Renaissance era of Rome. So you're saying you get why they're doing it? I get, I'm saying I get why they're doing it, because the appeal of Assassin's Creed is always the time period that you're in. Like, you're running around in the past, like, that's pretty cool. And playing as an assassin. But the modern day story has always been a main feature of that. Right. And I think it definitely adds on to the the past story because they complement each other. I mean, what's the purpose of you running around as Connor in the first place in Assassin's Creed 3? It's so you can literally find the piece of Eden. Right in the modern day. Yes, it's so the modern day people know exactly where Connor put the piece of Eden in. That's cool. You should have just asked him. Right. Yeah, why don't they say, hey, where is it? Dig him up. I mean, the thing is, that that's a cool feature. That's a cool connection. It's always an awesome thing where it's kind of like, oh, here's the piece of eating. Oh, okay, you put it there. Oh, look, at now I'm in the modern-day world going to find that. That's cool. Right. So, like, it's, it's a complementary piece to the games and to the experience in the story. So I guess I don't understand why you're taking that out. As developers intended here. <laughs> what do you think? I, uh, oh, no. I agree with this. Oh, oh no! He's oh, evolved! No. <laughs> He's gained sentience! 
Come on, why are you trying to grab you again? Oh, jeez. Nice. I like how you just, like, punched him in the face and he died. But he can take, like, being slashed on a ladder here, but you punch him in the face and he dies. It's like a fly swatter. How much help do these people have? Oh, this guy's found, like, the cheat. He knows where to he's go. He's the hack. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, there's, like, five How many people, people in this <laughs> car? <laughs> Sir, Salahadeen's <laughs> army, it's been decimated! <laughs> we found all of their bodies on a rooftop in an act of God. <laughs> in an act of God? Yeah, like insurance, insurance companies are like, no, it's not an act of God! <laughs> That's pretty going out of the way to try to explain how it's not an act of God. <laughs> insurance companies are the reason we've all become atheists, so they don't have to pay out. <laughs> That's our new conspiracy. <laughs> They're like pushing atheism on like our school systems so people can back up here. With it. <laughs> Get what back is here. an act of God, right? Now you killed that guy down here, so this guy is attacking you. Yeah, well, this guy's gonna go too. <laughs> Come on. Oh, oh, did you see that? Yeah, I did. That was awesome. That was I like how you give him like the inner city mom backhand right there. <laughs> You know what I'm saying. I know exactly what you're saying. <laughs> Here, now we have to like listen to those guys okay. after this is done. We have to wait till we get anonymous. Okay. We have to go sit on a bench, and then we listen to these two nerds talk about whatever they're going to talk about. Okay. Uh, are we anonymous yet? Like, who is finding us? I don't know. Apparently not. Who is like seeing us? Are we not anonymous? I don't know. Try going out. What? What? I don't know. It says we're not anonymous. Who is like shouting? <sighs> I know the guy staring at the wall over there, like your cat. Okay, well, let's not be mean. Well, there's a guy right there, actually. Is he going to? Trying to figure out how I change my. My color for my watch. What? Like your background color? Yeah. Oh. It's probably in settings. I figured it out, but now I was trying to see if there was a way for me to, like, install custom templates. Oh. That makes sense? No. Like, I wanted to make my watch have the Abstergo sign on it, basically. Oh, okay. I thought it would be cool. Okay. I thought you were, I thought you were meaning, like, Yoshi Hentai. Why'd you go right there? Uh, no reason. No reason. <laughs> Look, I have, like, a flashlight. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, now it's red. Look, I can call the police. Wee you, wee you, wee you. <laughs> I got a smartwatch, so... <laughs> Why, why can't we hide? I don't know. What is this guy doing? I think it's that guy staring at the wall. That's, that's, I think he's glitched. But that's a guard right there. No, but I think the guy in front of him is the guy shouting, Guards! Huh. Okay. okay. Should we go somewhere else and then hide? Uh, maybe? I think maybe you should. I'm gonna wait till these guards move, because they're probably gonna randomly see me. Um, okay. Can I go out this way and... Can I maybe go over here, then? Like, is there a hiding spot over here? Sit on the bench. Try the bench. Where's the bench? I don't know. Over by those guys that you have to eavesdrop on over there. Like a moron? Where's this bench? Oh, it is. There's a bench. Try sitting on this bench. See if this is a hiding spot. It's a bench. Nice. Does this work? I don't know. Try and eavesdrop. Listen. The last of it has been delivered. Good. Make sure he also knows it wasn't easy arranging a shipment like this. It's only wine. Some can be fickle in their faith. Your holy book says something on the subject, I believe. Leave them that they may eat and enjoy themselves, and that hope may beguile them, for they will soon know. And never did we destroy a town that had a term made known. What's that supposed to mean? Never mind it. Be about your business. As you wish. 
I don't really... Oh, he's preparing for a feast. Okay. So, um... Let's go listen to another informant over here. There's a problem. I need your advice. What is it? This morning, I went to hang the lanterns for the party. And this troubles you why? I... I forgot to remove the scaffold. Forgot it where? Just outside the Merchant King's quarters, above the balcony. W what if it falls? It could be hurt. Too late to do anything about it now. Just hope it isn't noticed. You can deal with it tomorrow. There's okay. a passage leading up to the Merchant King's quarters. Interesting. You've missed nothing. Okay. Jill is here now. Hello. We were uh, learning about the Merchant King, and that's all we've been doing the entire time, because we had to go around getting viewpoints and stuff. Yeah, it's been a lot of fun. Has it? Oh, okay, what is, like, this crazy guy? Has it been a lot of fun? I've been having fun. Isn't but the king going to get go mad there. about the eyesore underneath his window and kill that guy? Probably. No. Oh, no. Nate said no, so no. Oh, so it's okay. a no. Do you think in the future we'll have... Okay. Do you think in the future we'll have trading cards that have to do with the the uh, COVID nineteen pandemic? That it's like you know I, you I don't know you, you collect we, all the numbers like COVID twelve, <laughs> COVID eight. Sorry, I'm just moving my head so I can like follow how you look at the camera because oh. like you're always doing things like this. So I'm just trying to like I'm just trying to look enter around my six here. So I can, see, like how you see what you. I see. guess I can see the world better than you. <laughs> I guess you. You clearly can. You could see worlds that I can't possibly comprehend. I can. Yeah. Like the Flash. <laughs> uh, in terms of, I mean, I think eventually there will be like COVID jokes. Well, there's COVID jokes right now. Yeah, but like real ones. Like Not I can like, joke about it. Well, yeah, but these are like the ones that are going around are like cringe Republican memes. Okay. I'm talking about like real jokes, like that okay. make people laugh. <laughs> Not like jokes that make like your grandpa go, <laughs> Joe Biden dumb. I mean the real jokes in the future. You what know? are the real jokes that you're saying? Yeah, say a real joke. Uh, well, first off, I need to move Jill over. Can you stand up for a second? What the fuck? Whoa. A little hard language here for a very, very PG game. So, one of the first jokes I think would be like, knock, knock. Who's there? The coroner. The coroner? Your family is dead. They all had COVID-19. <laughs> A joke there. <laughs> Joe Biden, that, dumb. <laughs> that's the kind of joke that I think we'll get. <laughs> Safety and peace. You want information about the city, I suppose? Right now, I don't have time. I must find some flags which have been stolen from our cache in the rich district of Damascus. But with this heat, my legs cannot carry me anymore. Would you be kind enough to help me? Return with the flags, and I'll help you as best I can. Have you found it interesting that this guy complains about his not being able to use his legs uh, because of the heat? But as soon as the mission will end, I guarantee he'll walk away. Uh, well, that's because three hours is a good enough break for him. It's three minutes. It's three hours. Okay. Yeah, this is going in assassin time. Got it. Also, why why didn't they invent ledge takedowns? Why didn't they? Yeah, like in this game, why can't you do a ledge takedown? I don't know. Also, where's the other flag? It's oh. right there. Who stole these flags? And they're like, <laughs> I'm going to sprinkle them in a trail. <laughs> like, what kind of madman did that? The flag flounder. <laughs> the flag flounder. <laughs> the flag it. Oh, there it is. There's one. There's one. Informer challenge. She must be anonymous to lock onto the informer. So you, Oh, so you can still collect them. Okay. You just have to be Guy Fox to basically... Lock on the informer then. That makes sense. I don't understand. You have to be anonymous. Oh, okay. And he wears a Guy Fox mask. That makes sense. I'm surprised you know who that is. I know who Guy Fox is. Who is he? Tell me about him. He's not as good as Guy Fieri, I'll tell you There's that much. There's a flag behind you, I thought. Nope. Okay. Ah! According, okay. According, okay. according to this, there's not. Okay. Wait, okay, there is. Now there's one behind you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> How does it make you feel to know that they changed the position of the mini-map in these games? It used to be on that side down there, but in Black Flag, it's on the opposite the side of the screen. Map. Well, they're doing, like, crazy shenanigans with the game. I don't know how people will keep up. 
personally. <laughs> so I have a minute to become anonymous. Yeah. Good Where's luck. a computer? Uh, <laughs> Man, that was a wild change Julie just brought up. Thank you. The mini map is on a different side of the screen. It was really, really terrible. Shh, shh. Let's talk. Let's talk. Then Afik will be happy to see these flags returned. Perhaps this morsel of information will help you. I was invited by Abul to one of his lavish parties. I noticed the fountain in the middle of the Merchant King's palace could be easily climbed. Use this information wisely. Now, if you'd excuse me, I must go. Oh, interesting. Your legs work fine now, huh? Let's make sure they don't. But back when we had to... Back when we had to get the flags for you, still, they magically didn't work. I still don't understand why he gives us an arbitrary time limit for it. <laughs> right? It's like, it's like, hey, I'll give you this information here if you can collect my flags. Oh, you only have three minutes. Better go go on. But, like, he doesn't have a time limit on it. He could take all day if he wanted to. Right. <laughs> Come on! I can't quite catch him! <laughs> Come on! Stop being mean. All right. His legs don't work. All right, let's go to that last mission. It's a beat-up mission. All right, Salad Hadalim is going to get it. Salad Haladim. No, no. That's not racist. <clears throat> there is no one... 